Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. We woke up to a 60 degree day, but as crazy as it sounds, it's really humid, so it's kind of actually warm out. So the dogs were overheating. I just had the AC running in here so they could enjoy their breakfast. I'll show you my little dog breakfast setup so I can make sure, well, dog food setup, I guess, so I can make sure to feed them all the right things every time they eat. I gotta pack them a little lunch, because I think we're gonna hit the road for a little bit today. Pack us some lunch, pack you girls some lunch, and we're gonna head away from this campground and go on some adventures. So this is where the Duck Lake fire was quite a few years ago up here in the Upper Peninsula. We're heading to the mouth of the Two-Hearted River. We haven't been up here since, what, just a couple months after the fire? So crazy. Yeah, you can really see it right here. Yeah, this is this is nuts. You can definitely tell that there was a great big fire. Wow. Oh, look at all the little baby trees coming back. Hey, there's somebody camping over there. Mouth Lighthouse is that way. Oh yeah, we're going to the mouth of the Two River. <laughs> yeah, then we go this way. Uh, we're going this way. Yeah, so a couple years ago, there was a great big fire up here that wiped out, I'll have to turn the camera around, literally acres upon acres upon acres of forest up here. I don't remember how big it was, but it was a lot. And we came up here shortly after. I'll try to remember to link to those vlogs because it was from quite a few years ago. But yeah, I want to say I just, it was over 10,000 acres. I, I thought it was over 40,000 yeah. acres. I thought it was some insane number. I mean, this is just, this used to all be big jack pines. Standing jack pines, and now they're little baby jack pines. <laughs> but anyway, we're headed to the mouth of the Two Hearted River. There is literally that is crazy no trees and nothing. Yeah, we can't. It's really foggy, but we can't stay here long because we're on a back road, but we're on a hill, as you can see. So it's just so crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. And it's so like foggy and rainy. It's like creepy. Yeah. Right. Oh. It's sad, but look, there's baby trees, guys. They're coming back to life. <laughs> and the only way jack pines can grow is if there's a fire. Yeah. Don't, doesn't that yeah. pop their little pine cones or whatever? Yeah, I think so. Wow. That is just wicked looking. Yeah, it feels almost like a desert. Yeah. Yeah, actually, this reminds me of a desert. Yeah, like we should be seeing cactuses. Yeah, instead, like the little green pine trees instead of pine trees being... Cactuses. Uh, cactuses. <laughs> hmm. What do you think, shall we? Wow. This is like, I don't know, we're on a dirt road, guys. <laughs> All right, we made it to the mouth of the Two Hearted River and it's raining. Spitting rain. Oh, it's on my lens. Hold on. Nuts. All right, here we go. Let's see. So we got to cross this bridge to get out of the water. <laughs> uh -oh. Shelby hasn't done this in a while. Yeah, Come on, Shelby. I think last time she made it, but she didn't even pay attention. I think so too. Let's but see if she'll do it this time. Oh, she <laughs> She's already it. pulling away. She's like, mm mm, not you doing do it. Girl. Come on again. No, you both gotta go on one Good side. Girl. There you go. Okay. All right, go. Walk. Hike. 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 Oh, there she slowed down. Keep Come going. on, Shelby. You Keep got going, this. Shelby, I'm here. Go, Shelby. Good girl. Go, Shelby. Go. Hike. You got this. Good girl. Keep uh, going. Come on. Memphis is fearless. Shelby's like, I don't know, guys. You made. You're doing it, Shelby. She can feel that wobbling. She can. Spooky this bridge. it's a suspension bridge, so the whole thing shakes up and down. Does Good girl, Shelby. Good girl, Memphis. It's Memphis so is like. I know. Oh, there she can tell that she's at the edge. Yeah. <laughs> she's Shelby. like, yay, back to dragging you. Good job, honey. Good job. All right, we're gonna go out here and uh, look for rocks, I guess. Shoo! Stay off the dunes, they're fragile. Mm -hmm. right. Cold? Yeah, it's a little chilly. <laughs> There's rocks for miles and miles and miles. And you can see where the fire was. The campground is right there. The campground was spared. I don't know how, but it was. We're wandering the beach, looking for some pretty rocks. I don't know what that is. It's weird. It's interesting, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It is cold and windy and rainy. That's okay. We're on an adventure anyway. 
Memphis, you look a little wet. So yeah, it was a little wet out there, guys. All right, we are heading, where are we going now? Are we going to Chris Point? Yeah, why not? Uh, right. Yep, we're gonna continue on some back roads and see what we can find in the rain. Okay, so we're heading out to Crisp Point Lighthouse and we haven't been out here in a long time. And there, it is a seven mile windy road after you turn off a bunch of other dirt roads that you follow, it, it's in the middle of nowhere, you guys, for real. Well, a couple years ago, in 2015, I'll read you this sign, it says, at this spot on April 24th, hey, that's my dad's birthday, mm -hmm. 2015, the Michigan State Police rescued two sisters from Oklahoma and Nebraska who had their SUV stuck in the snow for 13 days. The sisters survived on Girl Scout cookies, Cheetos, and other snack foods they had with them. And mind you, when they say snuck in, stuck in the snow, it was cold. It was cold. They were stuck in the snow. There's no service no. back here. They were stuck here for 13 days, and they drank water by melting snow to drink water. And they only ran their car when they absolutely had to, and they were smart enough to make sure to continuously clean out the tailpipe. Now, thankfully, because it was in April, there wasn't um, a whole lot of big snowstorms that were occurring during that time. It was kind of towards the end of the season. But as you can see, this is a very narrow, winding road. Here's how close we are to the water. We're almost to the lighthouse. I believe we're only like a mile and a half away right here. About that. But from like a town, oh my gosh, we're forever away from a town. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Your closest people would be paradise. Yeah, probably. Or is it not paradise? Yeah. Yeah, probably paradise. So, yeah. yeah, they were stuck back here in the snow and they survived Maybe. for 13 days because they were able to be smart and use their brains and uh, they slept in their cars. Crazy, right? We're going to Crisp Point Lighthouse. I don't know if I said that at the beginning, but you can actually look up the story on the internet. Yeah, here I'll, I'll zoom out and I won't make it north. But yeah. We're way up. I mean, oh. look at, hey, look, it made it north. <laughs> there. Ah, uh, it's not gonna stay north. No. We're way up there, so. Way yeah. So paradise there. is oh, still gosh. a way ways there. away. Yeah. Jeez. Plus more dirt back roads to even get there. It's crazy though. Anyway, we're continuing on. We're driving. Yeah. We're almost there. All right. So even though it is raining. I love this boardwalk. I know. We made it to Crisp Point Lighthouse. Oh. oh my goodness, the dogs are pulling. I didn't put the belt on. Come on girls, we're going down to the water for a minute. Come on. You two, let's go. So this is Crisp Point Lighthouse. And years ago, people decided to save the lighthouse. Look at how close it is to the water. Every year they have to come out here and move more of these rocks closer to the lighthouse and further out in the water to stop the erosion of the land so this lighthouse does not fall into the water. What are we doing? Yay! Thanks, Dave. Memphis is like, what are we doing? I want to play this game. I like this game. <laughs> oh. Yay! Even in the rain, it's still fun, huh? Look at all of the pretty rocks on this beach. There's a lot of black ones here, colored ones, green ones. There's definitely a lot of pretty rocks here. <laughs> You just can't help yourself, can ya? I just can't help myself! <laughs> so here's a good map to show you guys. The closest city is probably Paradise. Yep. And then Newberry's way down here. We're right here at number eight. Yep. So those women were out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> so we just noticed that this sign says you can listen to the audio stories of these sites online at exploreM123.com or on their mobile app. So if you guys want to learn more about all these locations... It, has to, it probably has to do with the, the M123 loop where yep. Tukamanam Falls is. Yep. So if you want to learn more about it, there you go. Dive into the tales of Michigan's shipwreck coast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we made it to Paradise, Michigan. We noticed Chevy's got a little... A uh, broken blood vessel in her eye. We're not really sure how she got it, so we're kind of keeping an eye on that. And uh, we got hungry. We normally go to the berry patch, but today we went to what's this called? Fresh Coast Cafe. Jamie got a big shipwreck sub. We got the dogs some turkey, and then I got a sub as well. And we're gonna try it. What? You think that turkey's for you? 
Look at her. She's like, I think this turkey's for me. That one's not for you though. Not for you, sorry. <laughs> All right, turkey from Memphis. Shelby's like licking her chop. Turkey for Miss Shelby. See if you can, I don't know if you guys can see the little blood spot on her eye. Look up this way. See it on the corner of her right eye. Look up this way. Shelby, look up this way. I don't know if she bumped it or if Memphis stepped on her back there, but now we're keeping an eye on that. No, you cannot have all of the turkeys. You cannot have all of the turkeys. You gotta stay back there, honey. Stay back there. Mine looks super amazing. Mm -hmm. Yours There's looks super, Italian. yeah. The, you got an Italian toasted, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, girls, you gotta get in the back. You had some mm -hmm. turkey, you gotta wait till we're done. You can have some more. So we found this cool off-road trail that on the map we could tell went back to the water. And there's the water. I don't know if you can tell on camera how far down it actually is. <laughs> Stay away from the cliff, girls. Come here. I can I mean, definitely make it down. I would say you can make it down. We can't. I wouldn't make it back up. Oh, uh, right. You'd have to walk all the way back that way. <laughs> it's, it's pretty though. It's a very pretty lookout. Yeah, wow. But uh, yeah, I don't think we're going down here. Sorry, Memphis. No crazy cliff adventures today. I if that property's waterfront, because then you could uh, you could put steps on this. Right? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is, because that's the property right there. Yeah. Well, this is nothing. It's very pretty, though. Yeah, so this is the road we drove down. And we yeah. found out that this property on this side right here is for sale. We should totally buy it. Yeah, right? Luckily, none of them fell across the road. Yeah, maybe we should get out of here. Yeah, yeah. Burr! 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 Feels good. What do you think, girls? Back in the car for a little bit? Sound okay to you? All right, let's do it. Is that moss growing on that tree? Yeah. I noticed that on a couple of other trees that had fallen. It's moss, it's literally moss. Growing on the pine trees. Yeah, it probably stays wet here enough because of the big lake. It's so crazy. Yeah. Look, that one's got it all over it. It's like a furry. <laughs> yeah, furry moss. Come on, girls, get out of the furry oh, moss. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we're gonna get back in the car. Yep, back in the car. So we made it back to the campground and it's raining. I can show you guys a picture of Shelby's eyes and she's not really wanting to show it to you guys. So there is a picture of what her eye looks like. You can see the red. We don't know what happened. We don't know if she got kicked by Memphis or stepped on or bunked into something. Yeah, she could've walked into a stick too. She could've walked into something. Even last night out on the beach, she could've punked into one of those stumps. <laughs> stumps, yeah, I just it got too close because it yeah. was hard to see. But we're keeping an eye on it and so I far- I didn't hear yiping off I didn't either, so. that's what I keep saying. Like, I'm like trying to figure out, did she, like, yeah, there was no would. cry, there was no limp, there you, was no- You could be right, on the bumpy roads, Memphis could've put a back foot on her. But even then, you would think she would've yiped. I should have just moved her head out of the way. I guess. And then probably rubbed it for a minute and went, oh, that kind of hurt. I don't have dog eye drops in my kit. That's the next thing I have to add. Dog eye drops. Because that would help her right now. Yeah, we're going to keep it on. She doesn't yeah. seem to be. She seems anything, fine. So. She was excited. She looks really tired right now, but <laughs> we just had her out walking around. Yeah, that bumpy road was a. Uh... She likes walking around. Right, Shelby? Want to go for a walk? <laughs> She's like, me? What? Me? You want to take me? We just went. Yeah, see, she's still being herself. So we're just no. keeping an eye on it and making oh, sure it's not eat. getting any bigger. And like I looked at it from the from an angle to make sure it's not like swollen or anything. No. And it's not swollen. Like her eye is still the normal shape not, it's supposed to be. You gotta wait for food. Are you hungry? I guess. I'll feed you. Yeah, you could probably have some food. I'll feed you. How about you? Are you hungry? <laughs> she's like, well, I might be now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll feed you. Just want it because it's rabbit stew. Ooh. Yeah. Is that because we went down Rabbit Patch Trail? That was really bumpy. <laughs> uh, no. She likes that Merrick backcountry rabbit stew canned food when she's camping. All right, I'll I will give you some rabbit stew okay. just because you're cute. We're going to the house. Okay. All right. Okay. I'll feed you guys while Daddy's gone. So it's raining and the temperature dropped quite a bit. So we're kind of just chilling in the camper for a while. I just made some Oreo hot chocolate that I found at Meyer, and oh my gosh, it's amazing. Jamie is working on getting the Wee Boost, which we talked about the last time we went camping. Um, that's supposed to help amp- Oh, let me see, be stretching. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's supposed to help amplify our cell phone service out here. It's not working as good as it was last time, but it could be the rain. We don't know. But uh, that's pretty much what we're doing, at least until later. We might go rock hunting in the rain and just bring some umbrellas. But we got a couple hours before that happens. So this is not something you will find us doing often while we're camping. We're actually cooking inside today. I had some chili and we had checked the weather before we left so we knew there was a good chance it was gonna rain at least one of the days we were here. I had some chili in the freezer and I decided to bring it up here with us. And since it's only like 50 degrees outside, it's a perfect time for chili. These girls literally have been sound asleep for the past hour. Yeah, you have a lot going on. You bounced down some back roads today, didn't you? Didn't you? That's pretty fun stuff. Jamie's outside playing in the rain. <laughs> He's moving the antenna for the wee boost. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna make some chili inside. We're not cooking on a fire today. Crazy, right? And I even have the cutest little camping bowls ever. I bought this set of dishes for our camper because they were green. We have four of the bowls, four of the mugs. You've probably seen Jamie use the mugs before. And I have plates that match them as well. I got them on Amazon. If they're still available, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link down below for you guys in case you want some cool, uh, I almost called it utensils. <laughs> plates, bowls, and cups for while you're camping. Here, how's your eye? I've been checking it about once an hour when she'll let me and uh, it hasn't changed at all which is a good thing it means it probably just was a little bit of trauma that caused it look this way huh she's like no stop looking at my eye I know I know you don't like it but we got to make sure uh oh I better stir this mmm chili while camping it's not as good as fire food but it's gonna warm us up right yeah, it smells delicious doesn't it, smells it? A little hot. you should uh, go outside it smells like chili all around the camper <laughs> everybody knows what we're having it smells like chili you girls can't eat chili I know cutest look in the world still not gonna get chili maybe you can have sprinkled cheese on your food later but not mm -hmm. chili What's the deal? Are you both gonna sleep over there? You think that we made that bed just for you girls? Huh? How's your eyeball doing, Shelby? It hasn't gotten any worse, so I think we're gonna stay up here another day. Like we said earlier, it doesn't seem to be bothering her. She's definitely not gonna let us look at it though. Look up here. She's like, nope, forget it. Oh, you changed your mind? You're gonna sleep over there? Okay, all right, fine, you can sleep over there. Anyway, you guys, we're calling it a night. We hope you enjoyed today's video. If you can't tell, we have the heater on because it is now like 45 degrees outside. It's a little chilly for camping. <laughs> Thanks for watching. As always, you guys, stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Good night, audience. If you love our huskies, come along for the ride. All you have to do is hit subscribe. Follow as we share our lives with our dogs And join our adventures on Snow Dog Vlogs